a good one. It's still Wednesday. I, um, I've mentioned a number of times how impatient I am. So, goes without saying that uh, after putting that media sponges and media into that sump, and jump starting this pond, I feel like I have to put some fish in here. I just I have to. Can't wait. Can't wait. So, and I've been trying to figure out who's going to go in here. Who am I going to put in here first? Am I going to put uh, the pike, the red pike in, my, in here first? Am I going to put the flower horn, the small buddy, the vieja hybrid, whatever she is or it is? Probably male. So whatever he is. Then I thought maybe I'll start with Oscar Houston and the female Festin. Female Feste went through went through it the last few days. Most of the fish they've been going through it the last few days because I've been having to play musical aquariums with these fish. They have been extra aggressive, maybe because it's been so warm, I don't know. But uh Fish been needing to get moved around. Matter of fact, we lost uh, the golden Jack Dempsey. So, it is what it is though. So, uh, let's get these guys into the pond. I could actually get all of those guys and put them into the pond right now, essentially. Put them in there together. So that way none of them will get extra territorial. And then we could drop in the aggressive ones. We have two red devils over there that we need to get in here. Anyway, let's go ahead and start with the first tank and then we'll see if we want to put everybody else in too. Let's do it. All right, so, yeah, that's a little better. So what I'll do is just get some of this water out of here and then Put it in this trash can right here. And that way I could acclimate them before I put them in there. They're big fish. It might be a little stressful, so I wanna try to eliminate that as much as I possibly can. All right, here they are looking all stressed out, but they are about to be very happy in a minute. Let's go ahead and uh, get some of this water in here, and then we're gonna put them into this pond. All right, so let's go ahead and get this cracking. Fish into place. So I'm gonna grab some of this water. One more. All right, that's it. Water doubled in volume, quick, quick, quick. All right, so. I'll just release them right there in the middle. We'll start with Oscar since he's the he's the biggest in the yeah, this is your fish. Alright. There we go. Man. Looking good. Looking good. Next we'll grab Houston. Like you are able to. Uh, and they're sticking together. 
Hey, look at you already all angry. Calm it down. There we go. So, look at it. Looks really good. All right. So the question is, big question mark. Do we grab the other two and put them in here? Or the three, matter of fact. Yeah. Do we put those guys in here? That's the question. Do we do it? Yes. Yeah. Should we do it? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's not waste any more time. And now this water is the same because I have that get nice higher. I got the higher higher heater on this with the controller so that lets me know what the temperature is on this tank meanwhile the other one just an old glass big one it's a nice one but uh i don't know what the temperature this is i'll have to have another little thermometer on here in order for it to tell me so i don't have that but we're gonna have higher heaters higher heaters on all of our aquariums at some point yeah yes I did I made a whole video of that today that's the one I got posted today yeah it's all good all right are you watching me catch another fish no you're not yeah I'm, I'm over here catching fish now So, do you think I should put this little guy too? Yeah. You know, I was just thinking about when, you know, the big, the real big guys get in. You know, the dope eye is gonna go in there too, remember? The buddy, they, that's the plan. Unless they decide they wanna be jerks, then they'll have to be in the 240. The struggle is real. All right, I know what I gotta do. We just gonna, gonna get rid of this. We're not letting nobody go under there. There we go. You gonna go right on in. There we go. Next up. Let's see if we can grab this buddy, baby. Grab the buddy, baby. Oh, nope. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Oh, you wanna come first? Yes, you do. That's what I'm talking about. I got it. There we go. Just the light. Thank you, babe. You don't want to be mooning people. All right. Oh, it's okay. Let's grab another one. We got two more. And you know what this means? We have empty tanks. And you know what that means? Fish are going in here. You know who's going in here? 60 gallon. Arowana. All right, let's get this buddy finally. Come on. There we go. There you go. All right, now let's grab the red pike. You're gonna have to learn some, some manners in there. You're gonna have to learn how to behave, how to eat. And I'm gonna take out the red tiger moto as well. I'll leave him in here because it's gonna have company soon. So in the next video, we are going to 
be putting the fish from the 60 gallon into one of these 125s. Probably, I don't know if I want the top one or the bottom, probably the top one because I want to turn this one into salt. So you didn't even come out. Come on, I got you. Got the Red Tiger Moto right here. I'll just go ahead and drop him up top. You're gonna have friends soon. Sorry, babe. So I love the fact that this is in a garage because I don't mind the water getting on the floor, not one bit. Oh, there you go, you over here chilling, huh? Come on. This, this awesome Heiger circulation pump is all on the way. All right, we're gonna unplug that in a minute. See you back under there, causing all these problems, taking all this time. You don't even realize you got a real nice place to go to. Hey, oh no. Oh, you slid. The struggle. Bom, 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 bom. The struggle. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, he's gonna get tired soon. And then I'll just go ahead and uh, just grab him. this up or edit it no oh my goodness you know what you got me messed up now dude now I'm gonna just take out everything I got should have a long time ago and catch you the right way It's too long in certain areas, and then you know what I mean. Yeah. Ah, there we go. All that, right? All that. All right, that's, that's a wrap, that's everybody. Let's take a look. It's almost time for a good montage. Oh, we can't see what we gonna have to do. We gotta close the garage. We gotta get that good lighting. We gotta close the garage. We gotta get that good lighting. We gotta make sure you're able to see this in its full glory. Let's not waste any time. Let's do this right now. Let's quit playing. Yeah. Yeah, hold on though. Hold on though. Huh? Where we at? Let's go. Let's go. Good. Let me 
looking good. Finally got fish in here. I'm happy. I'm really happy about that. Finally. You say what? So whatever fish can't get along, obviously they're gonna have to come out. I wanted to throw as many fish in here as I possibly could because they are big fish, so it don't make no sense to keep them in small aquariums if I could get away with putting them into a pond. Uh, we have, matter of fact, I should also put in here the red devils. Yeah, I'll grab them right quick. The main two that I'm concerned about is just the Dovi and the Big Buddy because they're so aggressive. So I'll just put the two Red Devils in here so they could all get acquainted. And that way one of those two fish will not be the fish that has to come out of here because I allow other smaller fish to get real dominant in the aquarium. That, that, would, that would really be terrible. What's this, Ugh, what's, what's that? That's nasty. Um, I need that. No rag. All right, so let's go ahead and grab these two red devils up out of here. Uh, you coming too. You coming too. Right here. You right there. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you right there. Yeah, 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 You, you, come on. Come on. I said you. Yeah, you, yeah. Come on now. Either one of y'all. Either one of y'all. Come on, come on. Come on. All right, let's do it. Let's have some fun. Let's go. Uh, we not doing that. Uh, we not doing that. I'm grabbing you, bud. There we go. Let's grab the other one. Knocked over the filter. Freaking terrible. Nope. Oh. First of all, ah. that ah, I need my ladder I need my tongs I'll grab, oh, you can record the process this, so this is the kind of stuff that happens knocked off the, the intake so now I'm getting water in the line which is probably going to have the same response as the FX6 that I was trying to hook up to the pond that you just seen in the other video. I hope that's not the case, but that's the sound that it was making right there. Sound of air in the line. It's all right. We're gonna make it. We're gonna fix this. Come on, there we go. Get over here. Backing up. Of course it would. So luckily, I was able to unplug it and it primed. So let me plug it back up. Let's see if it's working correctly. And then I'll go ahead and finish catching that red devil. 
fingers crossed. working right so typically that's how it works that's what the other one should have did it should have came right back on and been working properly but it didn't man that filter dirty I gotta clean this tank I gotta clean that filter I still didn't do it about to come out of here hopefully I really hope that the dove eye don't act too crazy let's go ahead and get him in here too all right so now we got everybody in here aside from the dove eye and the big buddy Catfish not going in here. African pike not going in here. None of those guys. Let's go ahead and get the five star out too. He's kind of big and I'd rather him go with the other guys if he can. Besides, him and the Brycon don't really like each other anyway. That was easy. about this thus far I don't see any real fighting we definitely gonna have to keep an eye out on them it's a lot of fish in here they came from three different tanks they got established hierarchy all that stuff but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy like I said, the last two fish is gonna go in here is the buddy and the dove eye. Let's just run a, let's, let's do a little montage. Let's run a montage. Let's watch, let's watch these fish together. waiting on I am ecstatic let's see if let's cut off these it's a little bit better but I, yeah I am ecstatic 
about the fact that I was able to get all these fish together. I was able to provide them with such a large space. This is not even that big. It's only like 800 gallons, like I've said, but it's, it's the biggest I've had so far. It's not the biggest that I, plan on, that I plan on putting them in, but it's their biggest so far. So this is definitely a happy moment to finally get these big, some of these fish are really big, to get these fish into such a large space. many different areas to swim and, and go through like I said each flower pot has holes in it so they could go in there each one then they got all of these different areas right here to swim through but yeah so hopefully uh, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i want to thank you all for joining me in this journey this was one of our first biggest builds but as you may know if you don't know if you're new here you don't know but you know to some of the the ogs y'all know we got plenty of other big things going on and i can't wait to get into it with you guys so let's talk about let's leave these guys alone for a little bit Let's talk about what we have going on. So as you know, this tank right here is looking bad right here. I feel bad there in the cloudy tank. So the Dovi and the Buddy is supposed to go into the pond. All of the catfish will stay in here. The African Pike also was really, the real name is the Hepcetus Odo Pike. He's gonna stay in here. We'll put over, bring over here the arowana. Silver arowana is gonna go into here. I plan on bringing these guys into the 240. The bright kind unfortunately gotta stay here, and then I'll bring these guys up with the bright kind. I know you're thinking that he's gonna eat the he's gonna eat those little fish, but he was really not that type the type of fish. I don't have him eating heat pellets. He will eat some shrimp and he will eat some tilapia, but he don't mess with the silver sides. He doesn't eat fish. And his mouth is really small. He's a bully though. He's been a bully over the years, but can't really do too much damage. His mouth is so small and it doesn't open up wide. This tank down here. I told you I really want to go salt. I really want to go salt down here. We'll see if that happens. We got a lot of fish and uh, they need big tanks. They all grow. None of these fish are going to stay that small. And so when they get big, I need to know where they're going. Anyway, one more look at the fish pond, the 800 gallon fish pond. Thank you all again for watching. I appreciate you all. You all. All right, now, so I thank you all for stopping by. I really appreciate you guys for chilling with me. Man, this was fun. This was fun. I'm so happy to finally have fish in here. I can't say that enough. I look forward to all the videos that we have for feeding in this. And then also with everything that we still have going on. Like, I can't wait to the next video. I want to bring these guys over to another bigger aquarium. They deserve it. Arowana deserve it. I can't wait. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that I excited you enough to where you want to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button if you like the video. Make sure that you hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload, you never know when that video is going to come out so you don't want to be late, you don't want to miss it. Uh, if you really enjoyed the video, share the content with someone else that might enjoy it. It helps the channel and uh, we really appreciate it. So I'll catch you guys in the next video and uh, make sure that you find solutions instead of problems look for solutions instead of problems and i will catch you in that next video peace